I am Stella. It's great seeing you guys. And today I have Josh with me and I have Michael. Hello. Hey guys. So today we're going to be talking about and learning about Jesus teaching in Nazareth. And when Jesus came to earth, Jesus taught that he is the Messiah. And Jesus brings good news and redeems people who are broken and hurting. God loves us and he wants us to know him and he wants us to love him. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into it, Michael, would you mind opening us up in a word of prayer? Yes. Dear God, thank you for this day, Lord. Thank you for this lesson, Lord, as you first tell. And thank you. Help those who are sick, Lord. Have the virus, Lord. Help those who are around the world. Keep us safe, Lord. In your name, amen. 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 So before we get started, we're going to play a small little game. It's called a truth or false game. And what we're going to be using to help us out is this green lizard to tell to help Michael identify if the question is true or false. And if it's false, he's going to be using, would you like to hand me this? Red dinosaur. This red dinosaur. Okay. Can you hold on to these? Please. Yes, I can. Thank you, babe. Okay. Is it true that eating too many carrots can turn your skin orange? False? The answer is actually true. If you eat plenty of orange carrots, um, your skin will turn orange. What? You know, it's crazy. Could you imagine walking around with orange skin? No. No? That would be pretty funny, huh? <laughs> You'd be like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A bat can eat three million insects a night. True or false? Uh, true. True? The answer is actually false. They could eat 3,000, which is still a lot for a little bug or animal. Bat. This thing. Yep. Okay. A man in Germany once grew a pumpkin that weighed more than 2,500 pounds. False? Actually, the answer is true. Could you imagine a big pumpkin, 2,500 pounds? It would be like all the way of all of us. Yeah. Or sure. more. 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 Yep. Wow. Okay. True or false? A cat, a cat spent four years serving as a ceremonial mayor in the town in a town of Minnesota. Do you think that's true or false? False. False. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you mean false? Yeah. <laughs> Wait for that. Well, actually, you're right. You said false, right? Mm -hmm. Because it was a dog. <laughs> a dog? Well, they say dogs are smarter. They sure are. They are, aren't they? Okay. They can smell fear. Well, they can. A body's largest organ is your skin. Is that true or false? Uh, false? The answer is actually true. Your skin is an organ. Okay. Last question. Do you think that Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins? That is true. When Jesus came to earth, he taught people the truth about God and his kingdom. Did everyone accept Jesus' words as true? No, they did not. Today, we will hear about a time where Jesus was rejected from his hometown. Could you imagine being rejected like you're telling us something? And we're like, no, that's not true. And I believe. That's Evil. terrible, huh? Evil. Um, 185. Oh. Sel is going to be um, going over our giant timeline of the stories that we've been going over the past several weeks, including today's story. So, Sel? Yes. So, the stories we've been learning about Jesus all happen early in his ministry. Jesus came to earth and was born as a baby. Jesus was born to be God's promised Savior. We don't know a lot about Jesus when he was young, but we know that even as a child, Jesus wanted to do his father's plan. Jesus was about 30 years old when he started, uh, when his ministry began, which is around Josh's age. Yep. John the Baptist told people to follow Jesus. Jesus began teaching people about God and his kingdom. So in today's story, Jesus taught in his hometown of Nazareth. All right, so I'm going to be reading through the story 
um, Jesus teaching in Nazareth. And our story today comes out of the book in the Bible, uh, book of Luke. So if you have your Bibles, if you'd like to open them up to the book of Luke, and we're going to be, the story comes out of chapter 4. Mm -hmm. So Jesus went to the town of Nazareth, where he had lived when he was a boy. Now Jesus was grown. He traveled all around teaching people about God. On the Sabbath day, Jesus went to the synagogue in Nazareth. The synagogue was a special building where Jews met together to pray, worship, and learn about the scriptures. Jesus stood up to read scripture. He unrolled the scroll of the prophet Isaiah and read, The Spirit of the Lord is on me. He has chosen me to tell good news to the poor. He has sent me to tell the captives that they are free, to tell the blind that they can see, to free people who have been treated badly, and to announce that the Lord's favor is on us. Then Jesus rolled up the scroll, he gave it to the attendant, and sat down. Everyone in the synagogue stared at Jesus. Jesus said, Today, as you listened to me reading these words, they came true. The people said good things about Jesus, and they were amazed at him. But some of the people in Nazareth had known Jesus from his youth, from when he was younger. Isn't this Joseph's son? they asked. Jesus said, no prophet is accepted in his hometown. Jesus told the people about times when God used prophets to help people who were not Jews. He reminded them of Elijah and Elijah. When there was a terrible famine in Israel and no rain fell there for three and a half years, plenty of widows in the country needed help. But the prophet Elijah did not help the widows in Israel. Instead, God sent Elijah to help a widow in another land. When Elijah was a prophet, many people in Israel had leprosy. They wanted to be healed, but Elijah did not heal them. Instead, he healed a man named Naaman, and Naaman was from Syria, a country that hated God's people. The people in the synagogue were angry. They forced Jesus out of town. They wanted to throw him off a cliff. But Jesus walked right through the crowd and went on his way. Wow. Hundreds of years before Jesus was born, the prophet Isaiah wrote about God's plan to send a Messiah. The Messiah would bring good news and redeem people who were broken and hurting. Jesus read Isaiah's words and announced that he is the promised Messiah. So our key passage for this story is John 3.16. And Michael, would you mind reading from the Bible, John 3.16? If you have your Bibles, go ahead and grab those so you can read as well. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. Thank you, Michael. Okay. So God knew that sending his only son to his enemies was going to be a costly mission. God loved the world, so he sent Jesus because his plan would use the death of his son, Jesus, to rescue sinners. You see, the goal of God's plan is to take enemies and make them friends forever. Josh, would you like to close us in prayer? Yes. Dear Lord God, thank you for your love and your salvation. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to die for our sins. Thank you for your word, the gospel message. God, I just ask and pray that you would continue to be with us, keep us safe, and I pray that we would all continue to stay focused on you and continue to live our lives for you. And we thank you for this time of learning more about you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Amen. All right, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Can't nice wait to see you guys. Bye. Bye.